Welcome to the Sea Stone Lowdown, episode seven. Uh, my name is Logan. I'm excited to be talking with you guys today. Uh, just some news going around the church. I, you know, we're kind of starting to open up a little bit. It seems like in California, potentially at least in the next couple weeks, it seems like this uh, maybe a, a restrictions on in terms of movement and, and gathering might be lifted in some ways. I just want to reassure you guys in the church. Um, Myself and the board, this is something that we're talking about uh, in terms of what that looks like for our church when we could possibly be doing in-person services again. Um, so we're not quite sure what that is yet because you know no one's really quite sure um, what anything's gonna look like in two weeks from now. Um, that is a conversation we're having. It's a conversation we are um, eagerly awaiting uh, kind of results on when we can meet back in person. We, we're really excited about that. Um, but we are, we are talking about that. Uh, and so when we know something, when we have made a decision, we will let you guys know. And uh, hopefully that will be um, sooner rather than later, but we'll see kind of what, how the next weeks develop here with this uh, coronavirus and with the potential lifting of some of our movement restrictions and gathering restrictions here in California. So uh, talking about this Sunday, uh, we won't be meeting in person this Sunday, we'll be doing streaming this Sunday. And actually Chris Germain is gonna be speaking uh, uh, this Sunday, continuing our Ephesian series, talking about building the church and looking at family dynamics and that inside of, of husbands and wives and how we love one another and how that benefits uh, the church organization as a whole, the God, God's church. Um, and so I'm really excited to have Chris share and excited to hear from him. We're also gonna be doing communion uh, this Sunday. Um, so if you could at home uh, join us communion, we would love that. Uh, if you could just have, you know, if you wanna have juice and some crackers, if you have water and bread, like whatever, it doesn't need to be the, you know, the specific wafers that we get or specific juice that we get. It's not those elements in and of themselves that make it special. It's what they represent in Jesus' death and in this new covenant that we have uh, in him. So if you guys could be prepared on Sunday for us to, uh, to take communion with us, we would love to uh, partake in that together this Sunday. So for our devotional thought for today, we are, we're going to look at Exodus 16, where uh, the Israelites are in their wilderness years. They've just left Egypt and Moses um, is leading them out. And it reminded me so much of our current kind of time that we have in our in our world here with coronavirus where we're kind of in lockdown and we're also just kind of waiting on what's happening next. We don't really know exactly what's going to happen next. We don't know when we might be able to meet in person. We don't know when we might be able to go back to work for some of us. Uh, it's just kind of unsure and unknown. And the Israelites were in that time in Exodus 16 and uh, and they were complaining to Moses about their, their need for food, right? Hey, we need food, we're, we're hungry, we need these different things. It was so much better for us in Egypt, so much better for us before. Um, and, and God provides for them in a big way in that moment. He gives them manna from heaven that, that shows up on the ground like after the dew is removed every single morning. Uh, just this miraculous food that God's providing for the Israelites. And so I think most of us have heard that story. But, but I think an interesting part of that story uh, is that the Israelites are provided this thing from God. But what God did in that in providing for them is he made them trust him to continue for that provision. So every single day he would provide this manna, but uh, he wouldn't allow the Israelites to store up any of the manna, right? There's, there's plenty of manna. It's like it, what the Bible describes is that there was always enough, whether you got a little, whether you got a lot, there was always enough for everyone. Uh, but God made it so that anytime people would gather and store up for the next day saying, hey, I'm going to... I'm gonna hold this for, I'm gonna get a couple days worth of manna instead of just one day's of manna, uh, then God would make the rest of that stuff spoil. So it wouldn't last past the one day. Which I just think is a great reminder for us that, that God, even with the Israelites in this moment where he is providing for them, he's, he's still making sure that they need to trust him to continue that provision. And in the same way for us that we need to trust that God uh, has us in this holding pattern in our lives right now, um, and that so far up to this point that God has been providing for us. Uh, God's been providing for us uh, with uh, support in all sorts of different ways, but we need to trust that God's going to continue to provide for us. Uh, maybe it's on a daily basis that God's gonna show up tomorrow uh, and not try to just store up today for, for what we're hoping that God will provide tomorrow. We're actually gonna trust that God is going to provide for us tomorrow. And I think it's a great reminder for us and a reminder that the Israelites were in this wilderness years for 40 years. Uh, this wasn't just like a couple weeks, a couple months that they needed to trust that God was going to provide this manna from heaven, that, that it was a 40 year time where every single day they were trusting that God would provide for them and every single day God was providing for them. Such an such a important reminder for us that to trust God uh, despite how long quarantine lasts, despite how uh, isolated we feel, despite what we may need, to trust that God will provide for us and, um, and God works on his own timetable. 
as, uh, as so frequently he shows up on his own time, not necessarily when we feel like it's best, but when God knows it is best. So let's just remember that this week, that, that God is a God who provides for us, and we can trust that he will provide for, my, provide for us uh, on a consistent basis. We love you guys. We will see you here on Sunday.